Good morning and welcome to Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining each month, as she always does, Ahu Yildirma. She's a co-head of the ADP Research Institute, and we are going to focus on jobs and what's happening with wages. Ahu, thank you very much for joining me at Market Site today. And economic data continues to come in strong. There is some wage growth there, but the problem that employers are challenged with is finding skilled workers. Yes, the tight job market is even getting tighter now. I mean, the 17-year low unemployment, the claims are coming lower, the quit rates are lower, and 200,000 jobs every month added to the economy. And we know that the labor participation is about 100,000 per month. So the rate is not enough there to keep up with the job growth. So with that, the employers will have a hard time to find the workers that they need to run their businesses. So when you talk about skilled workers, exactly what segment is that? What, what are the industries that are under pressure trying to find skilled employees? We see this across all industries. Any industry, because all industries require some type of skilled workers, right? But one good example I can give you from the goods producing sectors, construction lately, that market is even getting tighter, especially after the hurricane seasons. We know in 2014, uh, 2014 the switching rate among constructor workers were, was around 20%. Now it's up to 24%. The employers used to pay premium around 4% to attract the constructor workers. Now it is 6%. So it is, and these construct, uh, constructor companies are uh, small businesses. They are really having a hard time to find workers, constructors with the skill to just run their businesses now. And we see that in the other sectors as well, but the construction is a good one from right. the latest. But that's good for the employee though, because it's more competitive and they should get higher wages. It is. Right. We, see a, we, we see a slight acceleration in the wages too. Yes, as right. long as you have the skilled um, that the businesses are uh, they need right. and then yes definitely so what what can companies do to navigate the skilled worker challenge yes I think the companies need to focus not only attracting the skilled workers but at this time they also need to focus to retain their skilled workers um, what we know from our evolution of work study the employees now are really looking for the meaning of the job that they do but as well as they are very much interested in advancement in career advancement or skilled building so the employers should focus on how they can really offer um, the employees training programs to develop their skills. So not only it's all about attracting these skilled workers, but also retaining them. And for that, engagement is a, uh, is a big question. And uh, one of the things that our studies show consistently that the employees would like to uh, advance in their careers. And that's why uh, it's not only money. Right. Money definitely matters, but the other uh, work-related factors definitely come into the pictures. And that's what the, whether small or large businesses, they need to focus to keep retain their employees. All right, well, thank you very much, Ahu, for joining us as you do each month. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.